Hey guys, so I'm here today to film a small Sephora haul for you. I have a package here because I redeemed my 100 point or my $100 perk. And so I wanted to film a little haul for you because everybody loves a good haul. Uh, so before I get started, subscribe to my channel because I'm pretty freaking awesome. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday and I got my extensions out and like, I'm kind of feeling it, but I'm also kind of missing my extensions. What is this one piece of hair doing? She needs to cool it. So that's that on that. So if you don't know about the Sephora $100 perk, you can redeem up to 2,500 points at Sephora for $100 I don't know what it's called, a $100 reward, I think it's called, because it's not technically a gift card because legally in Canada gift cards can't expire and this expires in three months, which I actually didn't notice because I had 2,500 points after the VIB sale because I spent too much money. And so I was waiting for the 25, or the 2,500 point perk, the $100 perk, what the fuck do I call it? I don't know. I was waiting for it. And so the issue with these points are or these perks are you're like yeah if you have 2500 points you can get this perk if you're lucky so what you have to do to get the perk is be on the Sephora website every Tuesday and Thursday they drop some at noon I think it's 9 a.m. PST noon EST and so like I tried I remember like I tried on a Tuesday and I was like fuck it's 12 30 I went they were gone and on the Thursday I tried it like right at 12 o'clock and I got one so if you want them you have to be stealthy and quick which I mean, to me, I don't love. I think that if you have the 2,500, 2,500 point, 2,500 points, <laughs> I can't I speak. And you're a VIP Rouge and you're eligible for the reward, just like make the reward easily accessible to your people. Like I understand having the other like high end rewards that are like bathrobes and stuff be limited edition because you only have so many, but like you have unlimited coupon codes you can give out for a hundred dollars. Just saying. So I got the reward and I was like, this is on like May, I think it was on like May 7th. And I was like, okay, I don't actually want anything right now. And my issue is with the reward, you can't actually return anything you purchase with the reward. Like it says it's the stuff is final sales, not returnable. It doesn't actually function as a uh, coupon code. I just noticed that my desk back there is really messy. Don't look at it. So you probably all looked at it now. Stop it. Uh, so it doesn't want, actually work as a coupon code, or it works as a coupon code, not as a gift card, so you can't return the stuff. So my issue was, like, when I get a fun gift card, when I get a gift card, I want to buy fun shit with it. I want to, like, try some new shit, buy some new shit, get some cool shit, but, like, I felt like with this, I couldn't. I felt like I was, like, I don't know what to get, because, like, I don't want to get anything I might have to return, because then I can't return it, I'm going to be stuck with it, and it's, like, a waste of $100, because, like, this isn't a gift card that somebody else gave me. This is something that I earned for spending enough money to get me 2,500 points. So it's very different. And also with a gift card, you can still return shit. So I was him and hawing and I just kind of like left it. I was gonna, like thinking about getting like some essentials, like maybe like an Olaplex number number three I needed or like something else I needed. I wasn't sure. So I just like left it in my inbox and moved on with my life. They just give you like a, gift, a coupon code and it expires in three months, which I also think is kind of lame. But that's neither here nor there. So I did all that and then I saw on Instagram that Milk Cosmetics was launching on Sephora and I was like, the heavens opened up in front of me, angels started singing and I was like, this was meant to fucking be. Not only was Milk Cosmetics launching, they were launching Gemini palette on Sephora. And this palette is fucking expensive, I won't lie to you. Um, I've looked at it on the Milk Cosmetics website before. And I think shipping to Canada is probably like something stupid because like that's just everywhere in America. It's just like, oh, Canada is so far. And it's not, I can drive there in an hour, but okay. Um, so I saw they were getting this and it's so expensive. It actually is $77 Canadian. So I probably would, I don't know if I would purchase this myself like in real life, but this is what she looks like. You get 10 shades. Uh, they look pretty decent in size, actually. Like, if you look at the size of them, let's see. Let's do some inspection. There's nothing on here. I have to look at the unicarton. It says you get 20.7 grams in here, and so if there's 10 shadows, you get just about 2 grams per shadow, which I don't think is that bad. Let's... What's Anastasia give me? Anastasia gives me 0.38 grams per shadow. Oh, yeah, so that's giant then it's like twice the size of an Anastasia shadow which makes sense because they're tiny squares and this is 
hair rectangle. But, um, so I got this. And I'm honestly so excited about it. I actually wore it. I actually am wearing it today. I put it on today. And this is not what I was going for. It got kind of out of... I was just going to do a simple look. I'm literally going to a food truck festival. And <laughs> look at me. I was just like, I'm just going to do like a little brown in the crease. And move on with my life. And then this happened. Uh, the lid is ColourPop Paisley. It's just like a glittery clear it's like clear base with glitter on it so I like put it on my inner it's hard to like give you some glitter but I really when I first put it on I was like mm, some of the shades went on a little patchy but it could be because I always set my eyeshadow base with uh powder first so I might have to try it wet I don't know but I do love the grungy vibes this is giving me like I'm really feeling it I'm actually not wearing eyeliner today which is like not something I do but yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Like, I looked at this and I was like, I will literally use all of these shades. The only shade I don't like is Gemini. And that's because it's almost too peachy for me personally. I'm just going to swatch a couple shades. The shade uh, Goals, though. Okay, so this is Gemini and this is Goals. Goals, I just feel like, is a better color. Like, it just kind of feels... A better shimmer gold is fucking gold and like these green shades like this color mochi is so beautiful it's like the perfect pukey yellow kind of color like this palette is just beautiful and I'm so excited for it I love grungy vibes it's who I am as a person um so I love this palette and I looked at it and I was like I will use every single color in this palette I did get a little bit of fallout when using Bonnie today which is the black one but I was just using it on an angled liner brush and pressing it into my water or into my outer lash line and I think I just didn't tap off my brush because I tapped off my brush on this side I didn't get as much fallout so just a thing to note but yeah overall I'm not mad about this palette did I get eyeshadow all over already let's wipe her down just like the packaging is beautiful, the palette is beautiful. It's a little pricey, I won't lie, but also it's an indie brand, so you know that they don't have the same level of manufacturing and like it's made in the USA, I'm pretty sure. So I can forgive a little bit for an indie brand, but I am glad that I can get it in Canada with free shipping and I didn't really pay for it. So I picked that up and I've used it today and I'm really feeling this look. Do we love? We love. And then I also wanted to try one of their lipsticks. So I was looking at their lipsticks and like, I have so many lipsticks in my life. And I was like, it's summer. I don't really need a dark vampy color. And like, I didn't really want like a, like they didn't really have any, like I'm, I'm kind of into like rosy nudes right now. Not rosy, but like kind of like grungy nudes right now. But they didn't really have any nudes that stuck out to me. And then I saw this color. This is called Tomboy and it's the Ultra Matte Lipstick. And it's the color I'm wearing on my lips today. And what I loved about it is that it almost, it's like a grayish, but it kind of pulls like a dirty green to me. Like this is like a dirty money color to me. And I thought with the Gemini palette, it would be perfect. And like, it's just such a unique shade that I have nothing like in my collection. Like this color is gorgeous. I also think it's interesting to note that when you look at this in the tube, in the tube, um, you can see that the tip where I've used it is actually darker than what it looks like on the outside. So if you are like just rolling up bullets in store, if they're not fully swatched yet, just kind of swatch them because the color in the tube is not necessarily what the color is once you swatch it. I love this and like this is a very creamy matte. Now I was wearing a lip balm underneath this but like still I'm not mad about it and I think this color is fucking gorgeous and this packaging is sick I don't know how much this was I don't think it was that expensive I think it was like $25 which like isn't bad for a lipstick and again it's an indie brand so like I'll pay more and like just the melt aesthetic is like right up in my vibes you know you know so with that stuff I got three samples I have the Rita Hazan triple threat split end remedy I got the Caudalie uh brightening glycolic night cream and the BB curl butter mask and so I was trying to layer promotional codes on Sephora. They say you can layer promo codes now so that like you could do your 20% off code plus your $100 point or $200 coupon or what your what your 20% code plus like a beauty deal. Um whose hair is in my mouth? Mine or a cat's? A cat's. Um so they say you can do that but I couldn't I was trying to like layer deals and it wasn't fucking working. So actually what I did was I 
checked out with just my two melt products because they came to $102 with tax and I used my 100 point my $100 coupon I paid $2.26 for that and then I placed a separate order so I could get the samples because there was a deal where you get three free deluxe samples and I was like fuck you all my samples and there are two other things I wanted to purchase and they were uh first of all I've been trying to get my hands on the fucking Laneige glowy lip balm since it launched but it kept being sold out when I was trying to buy it during the Sephora sale I got the flavor peach they say they're like tinted but they're not tinted I mean technically they're tinted like if you look at it that's kind of orange but like once you put it on your lips and like I have pigmented lips also so maybe that's part of it like it just it looks like a clear lip balm on me and I love it it's so moisturizing I was worried it would be more like a gloss and not an act not like the Laneige lip mask which is my holy fucking grail but no this is it this is the portable Laneige lip mask so you don't have to stick your fucking fingers in that fucking jar in your purse you can use this it's beautiful the perfect lip balm I need them all straight up I wanted peach just because like I like peach scented shit so I got this color and I love it color shade flavor flavor so yeah I'm obsessed this is like $18 get one yesterday and then the other thing I picked up was where is it this is the skin fix eczema plus dermatitis face balm what a glamorous thing to haul okay first of all can we talk about I have a question why did it come in this giant ass box uh, so this says it targets facial dermatitis, eczema, and dry patches with a concentrated balm proven to safely treat flare-ups for fast, soothing relief. It's a lightweight, sheer balm, safe around eyes, on lids, and works wonders under makeup and allergy tested. So I have a dry patch on my eyelid right now that's driving me crazy. Um, it happens to me a couple times throughout the year. I'll just get like this dry crusty patch like right on the inner corner, like on the inner part of my lid and like it won't go away. I've used hydrocortisone cream, but I've heard like it's not great for you. And so this just has uh, colloidal oatmeal and sweet almond oil in it. Um, what else is in here? It's free from steroids, antibiotics, fragrance, water, preservatives, parabens, formaldehyde, phthalates, silicones, lanolin, propylene, glycol, pegs, PEGs, and gluten. So like that's pretty sick. Is there like an ingredient list? Nah, who needs that? That's a little sketch, but okay. So yeah, I actually have been using this a little bit. It did help my um, dry crusty patch here, but like it didn't cure it yet. But like also hydrocortisone cream doesn't cure it either. It usually takes a couple times. So I'm going to keep uh, using this and see how it works. It says to avoid direct contact with eyes, but like I've 100% gotten this in my eyes because like my dry patch is like right at my lash line. So like it's getting in my eyes and like I've been fine, but like I wouldn't advise it, I guess. And then the three deluxe samples I got, first I got this Way scalp and body scrub and I got this because I said scalp scrub and I was like, oh my God, that sounds fucking divine. And like this is like pretty decent size. I mean, not for a body scrub, but for, I'm gonna use it for a scalp scrub. So I'm excited for that. As you know, I got my extensions out. So I've just been looking to like treat my hair. I've been using masks every time I wash my hair or Olaplex. And I just feel like a scalp scrub sounds divine. So I picked this up because it was free. And then the other two things I got were, first of all, it's the YSL Touche Clot Blur Primer. Um, I used this today and I'll be honest with you. It was lackluster. It literally put it on my skin and I was like, oh, this feels like every single other silicone primer I've ever used in my entire life. And this like large size goes for like $85, I'm pretty sure. So I probably won't purchase the like full size unless it like makes my makeup stay on for like 17 years or something. But I really wanted to try this for a long time and I keep putting it in like my shopper's cart because I always redeem for my points and I'm like, ooh, maybe I'll get something like fun for my points and I'll get this and then I never do. So now I have a sample so I can see what all the hype is about. And the last thing I got is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cannabis and Oat Dry Oil. So your girl loves an oil. So this is a soothing treatment oil infused with cannabis sativa seed oil and colloidal oatmeal. Why can't, why did I just say oatmeal? Like oatmeal. Uh, to help de-stress, de relieve, and nourish reactive skin. So just like if your skin is, it's probably more for like acne prone skin, but like every once in a while, your girl's getting some breakouts. I have a whole situation happening on my chin right now. So I am really looking to get rid of it. And like, also like I'm a sucker for anything with cannabis in it. Like 
I also kind of want the Smoke Sessions palette from Melt Cosmetics now that I've tried this eyeshadow and like I'm just in it to win it. So yeah. Uh, so that is everything that's in the box. That's everything I picked up from the sale. I'm honestly really excited with the Melt Cosmetics palette. I'm going to the Distillers concert tomorrow night and nothing will make me happier than wearing a grungy beautiful eye to go see Brody Dal in the flesh. And I was going to wear black lipstick tomorrow but I might actually wear this color because like it's just so unique also it looks like i fucked it up but i was picking my cat hair off of it so let's touch her up i can't wait to be the best looking girl at the taco or at the uh food truck fair get your heart out taco vendors so yeah, that is everything I picked up from Sephora. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know down below if you picked up anything recently. If you have the Gemini palette, what you think about the Gemini palette. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.